Hello and welcome back to the Jack Mountain Bushcraft vlog. Uh, today's episode is all about recommended cooking gear for field school programs. So when you come to the field school, it's sort of a trial by fire, meaning you've got to get yourself fed, but all of a sudden you've got a campfire, there's no kitchen, there's not tons of extra pots and pans and cooking stuff around. So the things that you bring with you are what you're going to use on a daily basis. So we're going to go over what we recommend that people bring with you when you come to a field school course. Now that could be a semester course, a week-long course, whatever. So let's just jump right into it. The basic thing is a pot with a bale handle, right? And there'll be links to all this stuff on the Jack Mountain Bushcraft blog. So we highly recommend, I know there are a lot of choices here, but we highly recommend using these little pails, right? They're from the dairy industry. This is what a newer one looks like or a clean one. This one's all black on the outside. But the beautiful thing about these is, is they nest. So in the footprint of one, you could have two, three, or four. So this is a two quart pot. Um, this style of pot, uh, stainless steel nesting um, dairy bale, uh, dairy pail with a bale handle, is what I've used in my wand again for guiding for over 20 years. Obviously I have larger sizes, but this is a really good size for an individual person. So you also need a pot lid. So here's a good little pot lid. This is a six inch pie pan, and if you look it just fits perfectly right on there. And then you don't have an extra lid, you don't have an extra piece of gear that doesn't serve two functions. So this can also be your dinner plate, or whatever. So there's your basic pail system. So after that, we recommend highly that people get this two quart uh, stainless steel thermos. And this is from Walmart, it's a Ozark Trail. There's lots of versions of these. This is probably the cheapest one and it's a really good size for what we use it for. And what we use it for is a thermal cooker. Meaning we heat up a bunch of water and food, we put it in this thing, we put the lid on, we come back in a few hours and it's done. So this is a fantastic thing for living off the grid for um, when you're traveling, those sorts of things, because you don't have to eat crappy pre-packaged like backpacker food. We can eat real food. So this thing really shines on long expeditions. Uh, when you're running out of the ability to bring refrigerated meats with you, this really shines in cooking beans and whole grains. So we heat this thing up, we heat up the water, pour it in there, preheat it for a couple of minutes, pull it out, and then we've, pre we've got some uh, water with beans in it boiling. We put them in here, put the lid on, it can't explode because it's got this uh, safety release that can release the pressure and then they're done in a couple hours. So instead of having to boil and simmer them and all the fuel gathering that entails, we can bring it to a quick boil and we're done. So the, one of these things um, was really the star of the show on a recent four week canoe expedition. We ate beans every single day, right? So, and the entire time it took to prepare the beans was less than 10 minutes. So we'd soak them overnight, takes about a minute to get that ready to go, boil them in the morning. Um, once they boiled for about 8 or 10 minutes, we'd put them in the thermal cooker, put the lid on, and then at dinner time we had cooked beans that were nice and hot, and we didn't have to simmer them. So this is a huge time saver for you. Um, and the reason we like this one, you know, cooking in thermoses and things have been around forever, is that I can get my hand in here to clean this thing out. With a really old school narrow necked thermos, it just gets gross pretty quickly. The next thing, this is an 8 inch lodge Dutch oven with legs. This thing is going to be where you do all of your roasting. It allows you to cook right in the campfire. It is a hanging frying pan that you can do your morning eggs in. We can cook all sorts of meats in it, make all sorts of desserts. We highly recommend the 8 inch version because it is uh, doesn't take a lot of heat to get it hot. So you'll see if you come to the field school, we've got some massively large Dutch ovens and that big of a thermal mass, you need a huge fire to get it hot. This little thing is great at cooking for one or two and you don't need a massive fire to do it with. Um, years ago, I came home from a season of guiding and I realized, because everybody in my house was gone for a week and a half and I was home alone, I realized that I was super good at cooking big Dutch oven meals for large groups, but I was terrible at doing it for just myself or one other person. So I really dove in um, 
to learning how to use the 8 inch Dutch and got to be pretty proficient with it. So it's super versatile, cook over the campfire, cook in the coals, um, yeah it's a great thing to have. Lastly, uh, when you're learning to cook, this is a 9 inch pie pan, right? These things are pretty cheap, they, every cooking store, every big box store like a Walmart has them. Uh, and this is a great dinner plate, but it's also great for you learning how to bake. This thing fits in a bigger Dutch oven. It fits inside of a 12-inch Dutch. It also fits in any reflector oven that we have at the field school. So we highly recommend that you get one of those, and it can be your dinner plate, and you can learn how to bake efficiently with it. So these are the basics. Obviously, you'll probably want a little pot grabber, a couple of forks and a spoon and, and other things. But, you know, the basic things that you're going to have to chase down, this is it. So what we're going to do next is over on our online network at bushcraftschool.com. Starting in January, we're going to put together a cooking course where we're going to use these things and only these things to put together a whole bunch of different meals that you could then uh, practice at home before you show, show up at the field school. So the goal with the cooking course is not to teach you to be a professional chef. Um, the goal is to teach you to be able to make certain foods um, in really simple situation, meaning like over a campfire, things like that. So we want people to show up knowing how to make their own rice, knowing how to make their own beans, knowing how to make their own bread. Right? And that's what we're going to really focus on doing on the uh, cooking course. So, if you're interested, head over to bushcraftschool.com. It's free to join. This will be a free course on bushcraftschool.com, but we're not going to uh, publish all the videos and things in other places, right? We're going to put it all uh, right there, easy to do. So, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Talk to you later.